days I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits Welcome to Breaking the Cycle episode tw number 20 It's 20, right? Breaking the Cycle is a live show on how to be a positive male role model and lead your freak family by breaking the cycle and changing the trajectory of your family tree so that you become the type of man your son would want to become and the type of daughter and the, and the type of man your daughter would one day want to marry. The type of daughter? No. I guess you could associate. I, I, I told you I'm associating with I'll be a, a daughter. I hope I'm on the screens. Let's do it. So what else you got to say about These it? These are the types of conversations you should be having with your kids so they can learn to think for themselves and are not afraid to be themselves. So so when so when they eventually and they will be are confronted with these life situations, they are not in shock and will have an idea on how to approach it. Yes. So episode number twenty. Holy crap! Is it our starting jump? 20, hold on. Who who made my chair? My chair is a little crickety. Did you guys pull like some screws out to make me bust my ass live on TV? Cause this thing feels like layers. Yeah, so farted. Where's the I mean, dog? Wait, you guys want a starting joke? What why, you got? Why was the baseball player? Wait, we're we going by the rules. I have ten seconds to come up with the answer. All right. Why was the baseball player a bad sport? You're not. You gotta count or starting now. Girl, you gotta say it a second time. I need to hear it a second time. It's Why was the baseball player a bad sport? Go. Walk slow. He stole the base. He stole. He steals a lot. He steals bases. He stole he home plate. He stole play. third base. He stole a base. I got it. He stole third base so, and then he went home. I guess it, I said he stole yeah. a base and he stole home. I think I should get it. Yes. So it counts? Yes. Alright, so I'm one for one. So that's the game we play. I have 10 seconds to guess what the answer is to their amazing... That was uh, no, it wasn't. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Well, we, got the, we can go back to the videotape afterwards, sucker. Bet 100 push-ups on it if it was 10 seconds? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Bet 100 bucks more than 100 push-ups. Yeah, right. So, break the cycle, episode number 20. You know we're always going to... Talking about Watch things that are... In, that are in accordance with our free code, which our free code... What are the keywords for our free code? Discipline. Energy. Attack. <laughs> Why did your Mind. energy sound like lack of energy? Energy. You're supposed to say energy. Say like energy, mother sucker. Attack. Yes. Mind. Body. Let's. Mi mission. 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 Listen. Create. Win. Confidence. Protect. And freak. And freak, freak, freak. freak, yes, freak. Freak, 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 freak. Not energy. Freak, yeah. Energy! We're freaks, dude. We're freaks, dude. So that, it's always based off of those 12 parts of the, we call the freak code, the freak family code, and each one of those has a, a description, which we've gone into before. It's our code, it's not the core values. It is a, a version of family core values, but it's really the freak code. So we've gone into detail what each one of those are. We've broken them down one by one, but always we're talking about different topics that relate, that fall into those different, those 12 different categories. And it's all revolving around the family, the kids, and just as they told you, being a positive male role model and being a better, for me to be a better daughter, apparently. I'm still working on that. I say it every week, but I'm, I'm working on it. Where I'm going to say I associate with the seven-year-old girl and I'm going to come and play dodgeball and I am going to... Bust those little girls' ass. I'm gonna kick their ass. I'm gonna be the Dodgeball doesn't exist I'm anymore. Be... I know you've told me that. That's Volley just catch disappointing. came up from a game. Alright, but here's baseball. the question. So dodgeball doesn't exist. What about in kickball? You guys play kickball, right? Yeah. No. You have to play kickball. If you don't play kickball, that's like should not even be an maybe American don't school. We do. You know? So maybe a certain age you'll start playing it? We play kickball since I don't even know, first grade. 
All right, here's the question for kickball before we get into our actual we topics. We kickball basketball once. It's like a kick, mix kickball of, basketball? Ki and, and kickball basketball. I played baseball kick. golf once. It was an excellent sport. Kickball basketball is basically like a mix of kickball, basketball, and baseball. But I don't know why they didn't say it baseball. It might be cool. Disc yeah, golf fun. looks cool. Remember we bought the, 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 the frisbee? So we were looking for new frisbees to play with at the new park when we moved first moved to California to get this big huge park right near our house. So I went to go buy this cool frisbee. We went over to Dick's, awesome name of a store. We went over to Dick's and you sniffling that. We went to Dick's and we went to go buy a frisbee. Okay, she maybe she doesn't want to be like energy. Good posture. Okay. <laughs> Who cares about freaking so you're the posture. posture police with the no energy, lack of grammar energy. Grammar police too. He's grammar. grammar police. You're the grammar police. You're the worst grammar police. No, so we went to Dick's to get a frisbee, police. and we get to the we got to this cool, really high quality frisbee. I was like, wow, this is an awesome frisbee. I haven't seen one like this before. We go to the park, and first throw, he throws it to me, and I think I missed it. Didn't it hit me in the head? Didn't it hit me? No, I think I hit you in the arm or in Or the maybe chest. the hand or it went off my hand and clipped my hand and hit me in the chest. It's somewhere it hit me. I don't remember the exact details. But this thing almost knocked me the fuck out. Like, it ended up being a disc golf disc that's not meant for playing frisbee with. It was like a flying saucer brick. And eventually we got a real frisbee. Yeah, a couple different ones. We gotta find some of them are missing. We had like that one with the ring that went really far. That was uh -huh. a cool one. I don't know what happened to that one. And we found the one. It's like green one. I think it's in the RV. It was like, was it purple or green, the other one? It's in the RV. It's been know. in the shop for about six weeks because we had an incident with yeah. it. Yeah. An incident. All right, so let's get into today's show. Wait, no, we were going to something. We were talking about something. Oh, kickball. Here's the question I have. So there's no more dodgeball. Dodgeball's banned because it is evil. Do you know why dodgeball is banned? Not even, I think, not even because throwing the ball is dangerous and it might get hit with a little sponge ball that they're throwing at them. But in dodgeball, you usually pick teams. Do they still let you pick teams? In kickball, yeah. Oh, wow. They, they used to not, they, for a while I heard they stopped letting you pick teams because the kid that got picked last would have his little feelings hurt. Like, if you're not good, you probably shouldn't pick last. No big deal. He's probably good at math. He's not going get, to get, get picked last in the spelling bee or the math quiz, so you got to be strong, good at some things. Like, let I the got kids... picked third. That's good. <laughs> I've been picked first. I've been picked last. I really don't care. Either way. doesn't matter. So, that, here's the question. Kickball. You learn... Did they tell you the rules of kickball? Do you know the rules of kickball? Like, three strikes are out and all that, and like, base, like similar well, to baseball? You don't know the kickball rules? My what friend, do they teach kids in school these days? You don't even know the rules of freaking kickball. That's like a life lesson there. My friend PJ and Charles, they play baseball, but I just kind of knew. That they didn't really explain So it's like three strikes, you're out, three outs, you switch sides, and you go into defense, there's different yeah, positions. All right. Yes. So here's the question of the day. This still has nothing to do with what we're talking about. It kind of has to do with what we're talking about. The, the, the way that the, the country and kids and the world is a little crooked these days. In kickball, you kick the ball, you run into the base, say you're running to first base, and you're running towards second, but they got the ball back in from the outfield quick enough. What are their options to get you out? Run and tag the base, or run up and tag you? Tag the base. There's no one behind you. There's not a force play. You can't tag the base if it's a force play. You're the only one on the bases. The only way they can tag the base is if you're on first, and someone kicks it, and you run to second, and they tag second before you get to it, because someone's behind you. If there's no one behind you, they can't tag the base. Oh no, there's always, uh, there's always one person at the base. Always. I'd say the person before you got out, and there's no one on the bases. You're the first one up that inning, and you kick it, and you round first base because it went far enough, and you start running towards second, right? You don't have to stop at first base, do you? No. You can keep running to second. Yeah. So there's no one behind you. No. So how do they, alright, and you're in between first and second, what are their options to get you out? They can't they tag can the base. They can tag you or throw the ball to the person at second base, and they can tag the base. How can they tag the base? They could, you could just run back to first base. Because you're going to second? But it doesn't matter. No one's behind you. It's not a force play. You guys are playing by the wrong rules to do that. That doesn't make sense. I don't know. That's how it is. I don't even know what you guys are trying. If you round first base and they're going towards second base, why wouldn't you just run back to first if they didn't tag you? That's not a force play. They can't tag second base. They can't. No, if you're like almost like it doesn't two matter. Or three feet away, and then they tag the second base, you're out. 
No, that is incorrect, unless there's someone behind you. If you're the only one on the bases because you're the first one up in that inning, there's no way to tag a base. It's not a force play. It's called a force play because there's someone behind. If there was someone behind you, you'd have to go to second. You have no choice. You can just run back to first until they tag you. Or are they allowed to throw it at you and hit you with the ball? Are you kidding me? You're not, they're not allowed to. You're not. That's the only way to really get you out. After you're running around first to second, they either, if someone has the ball, they can tag you. Or if they're far away and you start running back to first, they can throw the ball and hit you. And if they hit you with the ball, you're out. Oh, remember the They took that rule out. That is what kickball is all about. Remember at the old house we used to play baseball in the yard? Not really. No, we did yeah. And then oh, we yeah. made the bases. Yeah, you just, and then, how do you yeah. remember that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was I, remember. I remember it. His energy levels down. I remember it. His memory it. levels energy. down. Energy. Energy. Wait, in baseball, are you allowed to throw the baseball? No. Full speed at somebody? <laughs> no. There, you have to tag them. That's it. Tag the person. That's the only way to get them out. Unless, if there's someone on first base and I kick it and he starts running to second, then they can tag the base because there's someone behind him that has to occupy first. You have to go to yeah, second. Yeah, th then you can tag Yeah, then you can tag the base. You can't run back to first. There's the two people standing on first. Sports show. This is a life show. Well, it's talking about whatever we talk about. But I, the whole po question was asking if you can throw the ball at them. So you're not even allowed to throw the ball at them. Like, that's the best way to get people out in kickball. That like, you can come back and, like, save a... If someone's ready to score a home run, you can just launch it and try to hit them. And if it hits them right before they come into home plate, they're gone. They're out. Also, during the game today, this girl, she was at third base. And then the she's running to the home, but she never touched the plate and she gets in line. And then the kid at home plate, he's like, throw the ball. She never touched the base. Throw the ball. And then she, she just walks over and she... She goes like right next to the base and turns around, and he keeps saying it to the people. But I guess they like didn't hear or something. And she just walks over, taps the base, and then turns back. And then if and you miss the base, you'd be out. If you and if under his breath, he was like, "Those dumb idiots." Yeah, like, if you miss the base, then you could be yeah, you're out. All I gotta do is mm -hmm. go and get you, and you're out. They'd have to tag her though. They couldn't touch the base. Does they can't touch the base if there's no reason to touch the base? No, there was somebody behind her though. At that point, once she passed third, touching the base doesn't do anything for them. Wait, the if you get base? home, can they still tag you? They'd have to tag you. Before you get home, uh, like after you get home, can they still tag you? No, after you scored, you scored. All right, so let's keep talking about the physical activity in the school nowadays. Do you, you got so that you only have gym class? How many days a week? Four. You have it four. How many days do you? Technically five. No, gym class. Gym oh, like class. actual gym class. Yes. One. One day a week, and you have it four. What kind of stuff do you do in gym class? Well, I mean, technically three because every Friday is running. Every Friday is running. All right, so what do you do in gym class? What's your, what kind of stuff? Well, Can you talk about doing that? Yes. Yeah, so Get your wheels out? Well, I'm in third grade, and there's four third grade teachers. And every one of those days, like, we, we rotate through the teachers during uh, phys ed, and then they all have different activities. Right. So, like, we did basketball. Yesterday we had kickball, basketball, and they, they just teach... have jump rope and volley. Are you learning the rules while you're playing? Are they like teaching how to play the game? Mm -hmm. They are? All right, that's good. How about you? What is your, you only have gym, I don't get it why you're old, you only have gym once a week. Because we run four times a week. For how long? 10 minutes. 10 yeah. minutes, okay, that's not gym class. Why do you only, that's, that's their, they, that, they say that's their excuse to make not gym class only once a week? So you run what, first thing in the morning? Yeah, it's like when we get to school. And so you run about 10, 15 minutes. How, about how minutes. much? How far do you Never run? 15. Oh, always 10 minutes? The record, my top record was 12 laps, which is a mile and a half. But we it can't I, be 10 minutes, mile and a half, 10 minutes? That's too quick. There's no way. That's a mile and a half. It's got I don't know. The it's, distance has to be. They wait, have to have the distance off. How many is a mile? That would be moving. How that would be six mile? miles, a mile and a half. That's a. Nine? Eight and a half? Wait, 10 minutes? How that many means you're run? doing a mile and how fast? Wait, how, ma Seven how many laps is a mile? Less, less how many laps is a mile? It's like a six something mile. Wait, like six, I don't know. I'm so, moving. That's a 633 mile. Wait, and a 333 six, half mile because that's half of 630. It's three, 633 mile. Wait, so. That's like 8.7 so on mile? a treadmill. Wait, consistent me. for a mile and a half. Check the distance. But anyway. I know. I'll check Is six laps a mile? Eight laps. Eight laps a mile is a that doesn't make me and my friend, that doesn't make me, and, me and my friend Jacob, we're making a goal that at the end of the year, we need to have 
at least two miles. Or not at so least be two miles. Yeah. So how many kids run? Like everyone, so if that's, if you only have a gym class one a week, they must really be pushing you guys hard for a hard 10 minutes. You must all be going like all out, like killing yourself, sweating, right? 90% of the people run at the first. I'm over here, I'm talking, I'm asking a question. At the first 30 seconds, but then uh, Jacob, he ran the entire thing. You don't see. Uh, um, friend, my friend. He ran a few times the entire thing with me. So one of the, so have you run the entire thing every time? Yeah, every time. Never stopped. Has anyone... So what do they do? They just walk? Walk and talk. Walk and talk. That's considered gym class. Phys ed. Phys ed. Physical education. They're getting educated physically by walking and talking for 10 minutes. So when you are running, and when you run too, what day do you run? You do the same thing? Friday. In the morning, same thing, or during gym class? Uh, during gym uh -huh. class. Do you, do during you gym run? class? Yeah. Do you run the entire time? Yeah. We only do three laps, though. Oh. Three laps? Does everyone run it? And, well, all of the kids, all of the kids run, but, like, most of the kids, if they get tired, they slow down and walk for, like, a few seconds, and then they start running again. And so they don't make, they don't tell you, like, you have to run or you have to do a certain amount of, like, they just could just walk and no one cares. Yeah. No one pushes them or tries to motivate them. No, or... but usually everyone's running. Like a few times, like the like, I, we would take off the the teacher would yell go and we'd take off and at the first lap I don't like I don't want to burn myself out so there might be two three people in, ahead of me and then they finish the first lap and then they just walk. Like the entire time, like at a how, very What are they place. getting out of that? I don't know. Like yeah. how, and then that, and then not having gym class the other days, and then because they're freaking walking. So then, are you're trying very hard when you're running? I'm guessing, right? Yeah. You're trying hard. Yeah, my nickname. They give you a nickname. Well, at the beginning of the year, they did. I haven't. They haven't been calling me that for the past two weeks now, maybe. But at the beginning of the year. They'd say, oh, look, try hard. <laughs> so you get made fun of for trying hard, for actually running and pushing yourself and trying hard. You get made fun of nowadays in school. I it's like, it's like anti-bullying. It's like reverse bullying. There's not even bullies anymore. It's just bull bullies, the new, the bullies of this like century, whatever generation. I call it, generation, whatever the hell it's called, have basically transformed into freaking haters. They're now considered haters. Like, that's all, like at such a young age, there's haters. Where would you think that they're learning to be haters from? Parents, they're role models. And they're definitely probably there. That probably the, is the foundation. Where else do you think? Siblings, maybe, on the internet. Oh, and the internet. Siblings and the internet. Parents. If they're, if they're going on the internet, if they're going at, like watching stupid shit on YouTube probably and sh shit they shouldn't be watching because they don't know how to comprehend it or understand it. Now, if, if someone, if they watch something and their parents like explain to them what they were, what they were, like what it was, different story, but, and they were, could be more responsible with it, but how is that, a, what grade are you in? Six. Holy shit. I think in sixth grade already. Yeah, I was yeah. born like yesterday. So a sixth grader, and there's freaking haters in sixth grade getting made fun of for trying hard. Try hard. You know that nowadays you get made fun of for being, if you go to the beach and you're in shape, you get made fun of. Mm -hmm. You're afraid to take your shirt People off. People laugh at you. If you have abs, you're almost like mm -hmm. shy and afraid to take your shirt off at the beach. You're going to get made fun in of. The, not, in, uh, not physical people always just take their shirt And those are the ones that make fun of you and mock you. Remember we were in the hotel. Remember in the hotel I was I was boxing, shadow boxing in the mirror, warming up, and the people walking by the window. How do you not remember that? We were just recently, the last trip we were on. Wait, where was it? I was shadow boxing and then they started doing something in the hallway we saw right outside the window of the gym. What which gym? There were heavier folks and they started imitating me. Oh, and back to my... Back to sort of my mocking me and boxing in the hallway? The, How do you not remember that? You're the ones that told me about it, and I saw them, and then I saw them doing it. Also, there's a few heavier when? folks Where? in when? my brain, and they're the ones who walk up. When? Whatever the last time we went on in a hotel somewhere or somewhere. Texas? We're in a gym somewhere. In Texas. In Texas. We're I in remember. We were boxing. 
we were shadow boxing, and they walked mm-hmm. by, and these people that spend a little too much time a in the bit. Texas barbecue. Oh, yeah. You remember he is like this that's only, that was only two months ago. Like a little detail. Yeah, well it doesn't matter. That's something like that just happened. They like remember, they were making fun of me, mocking me as they were like, I think, holding their drinks, going out to the pool and, and I remember, not the most in shape people and making fun of me because I was boxing and mocking it and laughing and joking. Same thing happens at the beach, using kettlebells and seeing in the distance the beached whales or, or whatever. Making fun of the thing and laughing and joking, getting made fun of. You getting made fun of for exercising, getting made fun of for being in shape or there for having abs bit. or for having muscle or for but trying hard. I have, I have two, I have two stories. I have two stories. I have two little stories. Yeah. Oh, you guys want to hear another joke? Well, I don't story. You just cut someone off there. Uh-huh. When we were in Aruba, we were on the side of the beach. Working out, and then you know how those golf cart thingies would drive by sometimes. I remember this guy, a sort of heavier folk. Folk. Would he like started like laughing and like yelling at us like like keep going yeah nice job or something like that. And then another one in the street too. They'll drive by on the street and they'll honk and yell and scream while you're working out. Yeah, good job, keep going. Oh, yeah, it happens all the time. Well, they have their, then, their Mick Whopper with cheese next to them. What's Mick Whopper? I think this was in... Wait, when, when did we do that 30-story workout? Remember? We, like, ran up and then we did, like, a set of something and ran up. Was that at the alumni meetup thing? Or, like, the... I think no, it was. That in... No, it wasn't in Texas. Well, we did it in... Costa Rica, we did the staircase workout, but then we did one recently in like that metal staircase where there was like all nasty shit in the hallway. Uh, that was when you the VIP pass thing. Oh, that was in Costa yeah, Mesa. That, Costa Mesa. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. And it's not workout related, but we were walking out of the room and the these heavier folks in front of us, and you turned around and asked me if I drink my healthy green protein shake. No, I did it after. Oh, yeah. They were yelling at us because we weren't wearing our masks. Remember? Oh, yeah. They were saying, and this was way after masks were done already, like long after they were done. And you're like, did you drink your empty green protein shake? These people were having, wearing, wearing their masks in the hotel, and we just finished with the workout, and they were not, they were obese. It's just, I'm just stating a fact. They were obese. They were like 50, 60, 70 pounds overweight, the whole family. The mother, the father, the son. The daughter, every one of them 50 pounds overweight. It's not making fun of fat people. It's just they were overweight. They were not living a healthy lifestyle. It's just a fact. I'm stating facts. And they started talking to each other about how, like, to each other about us because we're not wearing our masks and this and that. I don't remember exactly what they were saying. Just kids wearing masks too? I'm pretty sure they're all wearing masks. And, And about our masks and this and that, whatever else. After we're finishing our workout and they had bags of their fast food in their hands and they're... They're preaching to us about the health and safety and standards to be freaking healthy while they're literally like, I don't remember how old the kids were, but they weren't that old, like probably in lower 12 to 15, something like that, maybe even younger, 50 pounds overweight already, holding your fast food in your hand, preaching health and wellness to someone because they're not wearing a mask. Listen, that that food that you're eating, that stress level of of the stress of thinking of not people that aren't wearing a mask is going to kill you more than... Whatever that you're protecting yourself in the mask from, that anxiety and stress and, oh my God, nervousness and the fucking McBopper Whopper cheese in your bag is going to kill you a lot faster and more rapidly and regularly than anything out there you think you're protecting yourself with your freaking mask from. That mask, you, you didn't keep the mask on when you were shoving that freaking double bacon cheeseburger in your face. You should have kept the fucking mask on then is what you should have done. Sorry, it's a kid's show. I got I get caught up in the moment. That was a lot. I get caught up in the moment. My, my ears hurting. My apologies. Wow. Put it in a poli- slower speed, maybe? My, my apologies. Yeah, put that back in half okay, speed. Okay, now you guys want to joke? Saying. Yes, what do you got? Can I have a joke? I didn't do a joke. All right, his turn. it's his turn for a joke. No, we got to right alternate. Please. What right. do you call a dentist in the army? Dentist in the army. <laughs> Drill sergeant. Hey. I'm good. Two for two. Two for two. I got your jokes okay. today. I'm not cheating, I obviously, because I don't. I need... got another one. All right, go. Another one. Now you're putting the pressure on me. Back to back. I need time to refresh. All right, go. What is the fastest peanut butter in the world? Say it again. You need to ask me. You have to repeat the joke so I can let it sink in. What is the fastest peanut butter in the world? Fastest? I think I said the, the slowest. I was going to say super chunk. 
Because it would be slow. That would be a good one. What's the slowest people in the world? The super super chunk. chunk. You know the super chunky that we've had? So I just made up my own go. Fast people in the world. All right, count down. Skippy. Nope. Close to that. Skippy's like creamy Skippy. Skippy creamy. Because it's skipping. What else other people are there? Peter Pan? Peter Pan? Uh, Smuckers? What's the other peanut butter? What's that other main one? Jif? Jiffy? Jif. Yes! yes! At the last second! Oh! I'm four for four on getting your lame ass jokes Jiffy. today. No, that's three, I think. Four. No, no it's three. Three? So I can't count. All right, that's three. All right, let's keep going. Hey, so, you can help with your own joke. Well, a lot of what we, the way we try to live our life, the way we try to live and, and create experiences for these kids on a regular basis, when they show up to Monday morning, I want the teacher and all the kids there to think that they're lying. And how often do you tell them stuff that you do or places you went or workouts you did or adventures you go on or hikes you do? Okay, so yesterday... And they, and they think... I'm not sorry, speaking. I'm sorry. And they think that you're lying. Like, if you told your teacher about you hiking Iron Mountain in your worn down tennis shoes, they'd probably, if they knew what Iron Mountain was, they'd be like, oh, sure you did, sweetie. Sure you did. The teacher would even think you're lying. Yeah, they'd probably just say we weren't because they want to boost our self-esteem. I already know that, teacher, so stop trying. Oh, my God. Jeez. You can do it for the other little kids, but not me. I know your secrets. Oh, my goodness. This is getting creepy. Are you... It is kind of true. Okay. All right, what did you say? So, on Tuesday, we had our first day of rotations, which is, like, preparing us for middle school. Like, homeroom, science room, and social studies. And we're in social studies, and the teacher goes around the room and picks different people to say, like, what's your name, what do you like to do, and then what's the least favorite thing to do, or, like, a fact. So, this is what I said. Hi, my name is Tyson, and things that I like to do, video games, pets, working out, and other stuff. And then, it, she said it's a boring fact. And I even said that this fact isn't really boring, but I did a 121 mile bike ride from Yorba Linda to San Diego. And then the next day at lunch, this kid guy, he was like, sure you did all that crazy Wait, stuff. Wait, guy? Yeah. Well, his real name's Robert, but he goes by Guy. And, or, I don't think I should mention that. But whatever, just a- No uh, names. Just a boring fact. And, He's like, sure you did all that crazy stuff. You're just lying to all of them. Was, and to lie to 33 people? Well, because you know why? Like, Most lie. kids will lie. They'll lie about stuff. They'll lie they beat a video game. They'll lie they shot a gun. They'll lie they did this and that. That's what they do because they're not creating those experiences that sound like lies. They should be doing shit that looks like they're lying. They should be living their life and having those crazy experiences. And that's why they think you're lying because... No one's pushing them, pressuring them, and exploring with them and getting, the, getting them to do those other experiences. So, and we were actually going to do a hike just recently, and we didn't do it because you, you hurt your ankle in like jujitsu or somewhere. I don't even know where you hurt your ankle. Yeah. It was just not feeling good I enough. I think it's from running, like a weird way. Yeah, it, wasn't, it wasn't good enough. It wasn't worth it for us to do this 12 hour hike. So, well, we did just a, like, we, we just a short little hike. Speaking, speaking of, of not like, interrupting people. Speaking of like, Getting hurt and stuff. So, so we just do this hike, and then we were going to do this hike. See how it is if someone chops you, how it's kind of rude. See how that feels. Keep going. So speaking of like injuries and stuff, since you mentioned Tyson's ankle, on Monday during my tennis, some kid was doing like shuffling since we were doing the warm up and we had to shuffle across the court, and he like busted his knee or something and had to go home before the thing even started. Because it happens. You get, you, when you, if you play a sport, you're going to get injuries. You're going to sometimes you have to have surgeries because they get so bad if something's torn. Some injuries, like right now, my shoulder's jacked from jiu so I can't even lift it. But I know at, every day I'll make it better and better. I'll use my mind power to make it get better and heal like Wolverine. It's not some for surgery, but if something was completely ripped and shredded, like there's certain things you can heal on its own. Certain things are just not going to heal on its own and you would need surgery on That's the way it goes sometimes. Every sport. If you push yourself, if you're putting yourself in those situations, you're going to get injured. That's why I have all these jacked up injuries from jiu-jitsu. But I'll be back in there and I'll be better. And I'll realize where I'm weak and what I need to improve on. I, I, I actually like it. I like the injury. It motivated me. It made me so much more focused and disciplined. Made me work on other... I was in the gym today doing shit I haven't done in so long. Single leg stuff and body weight stuff and, and 
stuff on the box step ups that I wouldn't normally do just because I had to come up with other stuff to do lots of core work and balance stuff, single arm planks and single arm squat thrusts, all kinds of different stuff that I normally wouldn't do to challenge myself. So it made me think outside the box and think sharper and get a little more focused, a little more motivated and disciplined. So that's how you turn a weakness into a weapon. You weaponize your weakness. You turn a, a disaster, a suffering into a superpower. That's what you need to do. Like if Russia attacks and then I don't have to go to high school. He is hoping that the apocalypse happens right before he goes to high school. He doesn't want to go to high school for some reason. I don't know why. I, I mean, I don't want to go any. We are think we are having some serious discussions about switching over to homeschooling. If you've done homeschooling, if you're doing any homeschooling, let us know about your experience. Let us know about your experience. I want to hear about it and how, how it is for you from wherever you're from. If you're doing homeschooling, we are taking some serious thought into it. I think it would just be awesome for us to connect together more and spend more time with each other and it would take time away from us and our businesses. But I don't care. Like, why would I take time? Why would I care about taking time away from our business to spend more time with you guys and hang out with you guys and teach you? Like, that would be and awesome. And also, the yeah. teacher even mentioned during class that you spend more time a day at school and with your friends and with the teacher more than you do at home with your parents. Exactly. That's why I think it's like, that's where your influences are coming from. Those, you don't realize, you two are, are bigger thinkers and high performers, but I'm telling you, the longer that you spend in those schools and around those people, you're you're having to play at their level, and they're gonna. You, it's just the way it goes. Like if you go to jujitsu and every one of your jiu jitsu is just a little flimsy flop, and you're the best, you're gonna become a flimsy flop. You're not gonna get any better. One day you're gonna go against someone that's just average, but they're busting their ass and working hard. I'm not talking or anything. I'm not talking or anything. That's three times. You're gonna. You're not gonna get any better. You're gonna. You're gonna suck. Like you have. You're the, you should never be the smartest person in the room. You should never be the strongest person in the room. You never, you never should be the most skilled. You should never be the, most, the fastest person in the room. That's why jiu-jitsu is so great. It's hard to do a, go to a real jiu-jitsu class and be the best in the room ever, no matter where you go, because so many people dedicate their lives. That's why it's such a great activity and sport to push you and put you in those uncomfortable situations where you're dead tired. You did like several rounds and you're completely exhausted and sweating. You're starting a fresh round with someone else that's even better than you. And you're going to know you're going to just... Be fighting for your life on the bottom. Are you going to crumble under the pressure? Are you going to be a little bitch and quit? What's it going to be like? Yes, we're starting homeschooling. Homeschooling is going to take some discipline. So maybe you'll have, maybe we'll just maybe you'll go to boarding school. <gasps> spag Union. Let's go. You can send you to Spag Union. That would be a good one. Yes. I can't hear you. I can't no. hear you. Can we're moving on. Jump? No, so we weren't done with the yeah. muscles. So we were going to do this hike, and it was like a 12-hour hike. We couldn't. We, his ankle, then I actually ended up screwing up my foot a little bit. That was before the shoulder in jujitsu. My foot just got caught in the mat a weird way. I could have done the hike, but it wouldn't have been great. It didn't feel awesome. Would have been able to do it. He, they were trying to beg me to do the hike. They wanted to do it so bad, but it just wasn't the right. I knew it wasn't the right move, so we made. The, I just had to make the call, the executive decision, you want to call it, not to do it. And he thought, they thought that I didn't have faith in them to, to do the hike. Cut it out. I'm going to bring Ricky no, on the show. Isn't there fighting? They, they thought it was, I, I didn't have faith in them that they were going to punk out. I even, had, I showed them a message just to show the faith that I have in them to complete the hike. I showed, showed you the text message that I sent to, to Charlie, who was organizing the hike. And it said, we're not going to do the hike this weekend because of this and this happened, jujitsu, the whatever, the strains. I just think it's not the right thing to do. We're just going to do a shorter family hike because I know that... They can do it. I know even if their legs are broken and the bone is sticking through the skin, they will still finish the hike no matter what. I know they can do it, but it's not the best choice right now to do because I know they'll still finish it no matter what because that's the way they are just because I do have faith in you two little freaks to finish this thing. But Wait, how many miles was it? I don't remember. We're at 15-ish, but a lot of uphill. 15.2 like or something. 15-something. I did yeah, we did that already. We've done that already. And that's why I know you guys would do it. If, if when you want to, you would do you could do that right now. We could hop up right now and go do this right through the night. You could do it if you wanted to. I do. Except not right now. I'm not really necessary for like doing it right now either through the night. But if I had to, I would go do it. If I had to go do some push-ups with my screwed up shoulder, guess what? I would do some push-ups. If I had to pick up my gun and shoot someone right now with this arm, I would do it. If I had to punch someone with this arm and break their face, I would do it. If I had to. It wouldn't be great afterwards, but I would do it. I think I couldn't do it if I wanted to. It just would be stupid. It'd be screwed up afterwards. But I have faith in you two. I have faith in you two to be able to do this. It just happens to be that arm. So 
We talked about the bullies turning into haters. Bullies don't even exist anymore, right? There's not really yeah. bullies in school. There's no more bullies really in school. Or, well, there's this kid. Are you gonna... Don't there's this... say name. You heard of a place in a school that has a kid that does X, Y, and Z. What? X, Y, Oh, God. I can't okay. even figure that out. Like I said, the schools are dragging you down to their level. Sis. They're... Sis. Oh, my God. Okay. So there's this kid that wears... Oh, he doesn't... Scratch that. So, and he's kind of a bully. He used to be a bully. Yeah, our friends told us. All right, go, oh, go, yeah, go, go, go. Here, wraps up. We gotta go eat some food. I need some fuel. And he, they said that he was kind of a bully, and he still kind of is. He still curses at people, and he was sent to the principal's office multiple times already. This year? Yeah. Or three times. Let me ask you. So he curses at kids. Has he ever cursed at you? Maybe like just said something no. like what the F or, or yeah, like. So if he curses at kids it. who really haven't seen or heard this stuff, they probably get like whoa and shock factor and a little offended about it, right? They're like holy crap. When you hear him curse this, what does it go to like? Your is it a shock to you? Is it like offending you? It's not offending or in shock, but like. At Bryant Ranch and at Fields a little bit, they it they kids wouldn't curse that much. And then when I heard it, I was like, okay. So you were more shocked that the kid doesn't have the discipline to not use those kind of words. Yeah. Not the not hurting your feelings because have you heard those types of words before? Possibly. No. Never. Never. No. No. Think way. about it. I don't if even you know what they are. And that's the way we do things. Is we I, we do teach you stuff and expose you to different things. So now when you go out there and some kid says. Hey, Edgar, you try hard, you're such a fucking jerk. You'd be like, woo, you call me an effing jerk. You won't even say it back. Woo, you call me like, who gives a shit? Some sounds coming out of their mouth. It's not going to hurt you. But a ki- another kid that hasn't been maybe exposed to this stuff or hasn't been it's explained these things, it's going to be like, it's going to be like down, timid and think like, what, what the hell? Your only shock is that how does this kid not have the discipline from probably, where is he lacking the discipline from? Why does he not have the discipline? From where? Probably. Probably from his parents, not whatever. This kid and in this story, also, it's a fictional story that we were talking about some Netflix series. And he's series. also doing it to his brother yeah, that's, in, that's in fifth Look grade. That. And his fifth grade brother curses too. Like I was in the line for the water fountain. Say the F word right now. hundred bucks if you say the F word. hundred bucks. Say it live here on the... No, because you'll do it. I'm going to do it. Because you don't have any discipline. hundred bucks. hundred bucks say the F word right now. <laughs> Live on the I internet. will get in trouble? 100 bucks. No. I know I'll get in trouble. Nope. Mm-hmm. I do it. You don't have to. Di- I mean, it shows me not enough discipline. Mm-mm. That you would, nope. you would sacrifice your rules and your morals and nope. what you know I'm is... Good. You would do what you know is wrong just for 100 bucks? So you only would do it because you think you would get in trouble? You no. know that you're not supposed to do it. You're not supposed to do it. So like, like the time with the You office. cannot break. You cannot break what you know is right just for... A quick fix or some pleasure or for some money, like it doesn't matter if you get. Even if I say you wouldn't get in trouble, you know that that's the rule. It doesn't matter. Especially live on camera. That could just be a trap. That could be a trap. But then you lie to us. I think there's sticky pistons underneath. Sometimes you gotta be tested. It's not a lie. Sometimes (laughs) it's gotta be tested. I think it's another spider bite. There's sticky pistons under. Look at that. That wasn't a normal bug bite. It's still there. Look at this. It's like a spider or something. All right. So that's enough of this. Episode, episode number 20. We've done 20 shows together already. Holy Wait, crap. Not, I don't think we've been sticking to our once a week. If anything, we've probably been doing like averaging once a month of that. But awesome. 20 episodes. Let me finish off my last three jokes. All right, finish off Let some me... jokes. All right, go. Okay. I, I haven't missed one yet today, right? My no. four for four now? Holy Jesus crap. Three. I did the last one. I did four now. No. It's still three? One, two. No. Three. You did another yeah, one. Yeah, no, it's three. Name them. Joe Sergeant Jiffy. Stole base. Shit. Why do I keep thinking you did a fourth one? All right, go. Who earns a living driving their customers away? Taxi slash Uber driver. That was too easy. I already did that one. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm four for four. Four for four. Why did the golfer change his socks? You gotta say it clear. That doesn't even count as the first time. You're saying all like a dramatic. (coughs) Huh? Because you got a hole in one. Five for five, sucker. I didn't even need one second for that one. That one clicked in my head right away. You, you did that one earlier. The taxi session. Doesn't matter. Five, five. Go. 
What does bread wear to bed? Yes, be clear. What does bread wear to bed? Bread? Bread. No, bread? Like the food what does bread. bread wear to bed? Say it again one more time. What does bread wear to bed? Cover, salad dressing, dressing, peanut butter, jelly, mayo. Kind of, close. Crust, blanket, cover. No, no, no. Wrapper. Give me extra seconds. It won't count as a, a win, but I still want to try to figure it out. I hate not being able to figure it out. Is it something figure outable? Yeah, no. Like, does it make enough I'm, sense I'm to figure out? Answer, you told me I wouldn't figure that out. So, it's, if it's overly stupid, like, if it doesn't it make is. sense. It is. What is, say it again one more time. All right, I didn't get in 10 seconds, so it's a fail. So, it counts as a miss. Oh, no, don't give me it. I said I still want to no. try it. I still want to, even though it wouldn't count as a win. Pajamas. PJ? PJ. PB and J? Jam. 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 Uh, Alright, that's just stupid. I know. That one doesn't okay, that's just, No, I still need to No, I need to do one. I need All right, to do one. Finish this off. Let's go. Where, where, where do books like to sleep? Say it again. Where do books like to sleep? It's an easy one. You can get this. Bookshelf library. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, you can't do that. That's distraction error. You have to start 10 over. Okay. Distraction every rule. You know rule. Say the question one more time. Quick, quick, quick. Where do books like to sleep? Where do books like to sleep? Fiction, nonfiction, shelf, bookshelf, case. I don't know. It's 10 seconds. Under the covers. Like the title. The cover. Okay, one Damn more. It. All right, come on, wrap it up. What do we got? What is a math teacher's favorite dessert? Say it again. What is a math teacher's favorite dessert? What is a math teacher? Pie. Favorite? How'd you get that? Bam, suckers. That's five, six correct. How'd five, you get five that? Five correct and one miss. How'd no. you get that? Two. I know it's a math equation. Pie. Two it's miss, like three point one four something something something. You didn't something, get something. that. You didn't get oh. that. So it's Five so I got five seven. right and two wrong. It's pretty good. All right, this Six has been right. episode number 20 of, of Breaking the Cycle with the Two Little Freak Shows. Anything that you want to tell us, well, shut that down. No! no! Excuses! Very, very, very normal shows, and I can't imagine where we get it from. Uh -huh. We will see you next time. Uh -huh. You are freaking awesome. You are freaking awesome. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. Are we off? I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping off Singing straight Never stop Never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say Yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause No I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits